Good afternoon, I'm Brent Wilsey, and welcome to the Friday edition of the Smart Investing Briefing. And today we're talking about Ponzi schemes. And these are something that we've heard about, the big one was with Bernie Madoff. But you know, Chase, I read an investment uh, paper every week that we get out, Trade Magazine, and there's always one in there where people are falling for this. Why do investors fall for these Ponzi schemes? You, you know, it, it's just, investing is tough, and we always tell people it, it, it's not pretty. And we always tell our clients, you're gonna have fluctuation, you're gonna yeah. have the ups and the downs. Well, how do you avoid those downs? Do a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> to be honest, you don't avoid the downs. You, you have to realize what true investing is, but people, they don't want to take that realization. How do you avoid the downs? Oh, don't worry about it. We have this great scheme. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about how it works. You just get paid. Right. And people, that they want to take out the emotion of investing. They want to believe that these things are actually formidable and they actually work. But we know they don't. We all want something that's too good to be true. And actually in California recently, more than 8,000 investors were fooled by a California company and lost $1.2 billion by getting something that they felt like, oh, this is safe and it's great and so forth. But sometimes things appear to be safe and they're really not. Yeah, and the one we're talking about is, is, is Woodbridge. I remember seeing marketing material for it. Mm -hmm. We had people asking us about it. It didn't make too much sense, and the, and the reason it's like, oh, well, you don't get it. Like, it's gonna work because I love that one. You don't get it. <laughs> yeah. it's gonna work because I didn't see investors thought the investment was safe because it was backed by real estate. If you put real estate in there, I think people will fall for anything sometimes. Oh, you don't. It's fine. You know, it's backed by real estate. Yeah. Well, turns out it wasn't. And, and I remember looking at the materials and I said, did you read the contract? No, just look at the the, the paper they sent us. It looks great, right? right. <laughs> you can't just fall for the marketing materials. You have to read and understand what's going on, especially when something sounds that good. Right. And unfortunately, this came with huge commissions. Uh, I remember there, there was about five people that were also incriminated from this event, and I think they sold $100 million worth of the uh, Woodbridge notes and so mm -hmm. forth. They made $6 million <laughs> off of that. Yeah. I mean, the commissions were huge. You could make a ton of money. Now the problem was some advisors actually also fell for this. Right. They, I guess they weren't really advisors, they were probably more sales, sales people. people. Exactly, yeah. So how do you avoid these? Well, you gotta be smart and everything. And one thing that we tell people to do, I mean, and I just had one yesterday, this guy emailed me on something. He goes, it sounds pretty good, I get free checks, I get this, and so the guy made it sound really good. I looked at it, I said, no. I said, it doesn't make economic sense. And that's what you have to look at, is read the fine print. We are fiduciaries, we have a fiduciary responsibility to what's best for you. We're not salespeople, so I think it's a big one. Be careful of salespeople, be careful of real estate, and also too, if it sounds gonna be true, it is probably too good to be true. Yeah, and, and you just gotta understand the process too. That, that's the whole thing that, that I can't preach enough. You don't have to understand how to do the process, yeah. but you have to understand what the process is. Yeah, so be careful. And again, we talk about stocks and stuff. Yes, they're volatile, but they're not risky. These Ponzi schemes, can you lose all your money? So, hey, for more information, tune in the radio show tomorrow morning at uh, 8 o'clock on AM 760 KFMB. That's podcast as well. Um, also, look at our website, smartinvesting2000.com.